What's up, YouTube? Got another yo-yo review to do today. This is the Corco Alley Cat 650B. So, Corco Alley Cat 650B is the follow-up to the very successful Corco Alley Cat, which was a responsive yo-yo that came out in 2017. It is now 2018. And these have been out for a week or so, a couple weeks. Um, and uh, I picked one up. Gotta say, awesome. Uh, in my opinion, huge, huge improvement over the original Alley Cat. Although I do really like the original Alley Cat, but it's also very different than the original Alley Cat. So absolutely worth having both. Um, so you're going to want to check out the links in the description to see if you would like to pick one up. But let's get into the specs before we start talking about this yo-yo. So diameter is 57.52 millimeters. The width is 31.34 millimeters. The gap width is 3.10 millimeters, so it's a very tight gap. The weight is 52.8 grams, which is great for a responsive yo-yo. Uh, heavily lubed size A bearing, uh, just like the uh, Corco, the original Alley Cat came with a size A bearing instead of the size C bearing. Um, and uh, they have brand new purple Corco response pads in here, which we'll get to when we take the yo-yo apart. Uh, it was designed in the USA and made in China. So. Uh, as far as the similarities to the original Corco go, uh, there's really not many, other than it's a responsive yo-yo. But it's much more reliably responsive. I think that was probably the biggest complaint that Corco had about the original Alley Cat, is that it was really hard to get it to be and to stay responsive. You sort of had to go in and modify it yourself. I did that as well. That was sort of my complaint about the original Corco Alley Cat, it was that I wanted it to play responsive, not like a slim line unresponsive yo-yo. And, you know, once I threw it for 15 or 20 minutes, it was basically unresponsive right out of the box, which, you know, wasn't great. Um, this, however, is perfectly responsive right out of the box, and it maintained perfect responsiveness, exactly what I wanted it to play, the way I wanted it to play right out of the box. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, definitely very cool. It's, they have a nice, uh, the old one was sort of shiny. It had a little bit of a blasted finish, but not, a little bit of a matted finish, but not much. Still kind of shiny. Uh, the new one, however, is bead blasted all around. So if you want to do, you know, talon grind type of stalls or, you know, tape measure type tricks, uh, perfect, nice, soft bead blast for that. Uh, very reminiscent of, uh, my Corco Taco, the same type of blast that's on that. So if you have a taco and you're like, oh, that finish is great, same finish on the Alley Cat 650B. Um, I mean, really just kind of, it, it's fun to see how far, especially in just a year, how like modern sort of higher end responsive play yo-yos have come because there's really only four or five of them now that are sort of meant to be this way. And uh, I would say this one stacks up. It's different then, but I would say... This one, I like just as much as I like the uh, One Drop um, the, the one drop Deep State. So I like this one just as much. I think it plays just as well, but it plays differently. This one's a little bit more responsive, so you can't try as many, like, intricate tricks with it. It's, it's, it's a little more, it's a little closer to the way that a well-set-up uh, responsive, the, a well-set-up fixed axle would play. Um... But I like that because you can still get a little more than a fixed axle out of it. So it's it's really a lot of fun in that regard. Um, but that's probably enough to be talking about it. Let's go throw it around a little bit. Bit I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, and we are back with the Corco Alley Cat 650B. Um, as you can see, stalls are great on it. Uh, if you watch any of Ed Haponic's videos of Ed playing with it, uh, you'll know that Ed's a stall monster. Ed's just a responsive monster player. And uh, Ed plays responsive a lot better than I ever could. But uh, out of the box, the responsiveness is perfect. And this isn't just out of the box. I've been playing this for a while. Perfect. Perfect responsiveness. Uh, this, this is how I want every responsive yo-yo to play. Not only out of the box, but after kind of you know playing with it a lot and breaking in the lube and what have you. It, you can get all your sort of string tricks out of it. It doesn't feel snaggy or anything, but then it's also responsive enough to just do like a forward pass. What I really appreciate about Corco is they really try to just make fun yo-yos. Everything they come out with is, how can we make this more fun? How can we make this more fun? And 
The Alley Cat was a lot of fun. I, the, the original Alley Cat. Mine's all dinged up and beat up because I played a lot. I played it a ton. And uh, it was fun, and it's still fun. But this one is a little more fun because it's just a little more perfectly designed. And uh, when I take it apart, I'll show you guys that. But you can really kind of do, you know, whatever you want on it. The spin times aren't as great. You know, to get something very responsive, it's got to be a little more snaggy. You know what I mean? So you have to be a little more deliberate with it than you would on, say, a deep state. But it comes back much, much easier. Um, so it's sort of, it kind of plays, the responsive level kind of is the same as um, on the, the Gamer, which uh, I love the Gamer's responsive level. It's about that. But because it's the little bit wider size A bearing, as opposed to like the slim size C, you, you get just a little bit less string drag. Uh, on the response, which is cool. Um, as far as smoothness is concerned, I mean, this thing's pretty smooth. I'd say 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Pretty, you know, right up there with all of your high-end, you know, boutique yo-yos. It's, it's a smooth yo-yo, but it's responsive, which is great. I mean, it's, Corco really did a nice job with this. Uh, you know, you can't really finger spin. There is sort of a thumb grind lip there, but Let's see if I can, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to come up with a, uh, you know, thumb grind sort of tape measure trick, this will facilitate that for sure. Uh, but as far as the finish itself is concerned, very nice. Very nice for those tape measures. Really cool. And uh, like I said, not snaggy. I'm kind of like rolling it along the string and it's just, it's not snagging really. And it's just really nice. Uh, great for like stalls and stuff. Very like good, very, very like reliably responsive. There we go. Nicely balanced for stuff like kick flips. Just, just really fun. Uh, I'm really, really having a good time. I th really think Corco did a nice job uh, upgrading this. I think it's better in every way. But let's go ahead and throw it on the desk. We'll take it apart. I'll show you guys the insides, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. We are back on the desk with the Corco Alley Cat 650B. So let's take this bad boy apart. Show you guys the insides. Comes apart nice. No complaints there. It's machine nice. All, everything uh, Corco does is machine nice. So, you know, there's uh, there's that. Um, these are the uh, the Corco response pads. You can get them, or at least they're for sale on Yo-Yo Expert. There's like a thing up, but I think they're sold out. But uh, as you can see, these nice purple pads. Uh, they're the right amount of grippiness, and they're wide. And the fact that there's two of them uh, is excellent. Uh, I believe these will fit in the original Alley Cat as well. Um, as you can see, not much going on here. Just kind of a very, you know, slightly butterflied, modified imperial shape type of dealie. Uh, pretty much exactly what you would want for a modern responsive yo-yo. Uh, keep it simple. Keeping it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. As Bill Clinton would say. And, uh, you know, nice... Uh, little bump up dimple there to facilitate a longer axle so you don't have to worry about stripping it so much because it's a nice long axle in there a uh, little bit of a beefy rim there just to kind of give you some some power uh, some little bit of stability there uh, but very nice as far as that's concerned good balance overall uh, you know good for your kick flips it's gonna be good for I mean if you've ever watched Ed do all that crazy stuff on here you'll know that like you know this was Tested by somebody who is much better at responsive yo-yo than me. However, it's still really good for somebody like me to have fun with it. Which really is, I think, the idea behind all of it. Uh, so let's do pros and cons. Pros. Uh, it's perfectly responsive out of the box. Excellent. Um, nicely heavily lubed bearing. It's a size A bearing, which is different from most of the other ones. Really, only the Alley Cats are using those in their responsive yo-yos. 
the Gamer and the Deep State both have C-sized bearings. So, uh, you know, nice to see. It's, it's different. It plays different and it, it feels different. So it's worth having. Uh, I have all of them because I just do. So it's worth it because I did it. So you should do it too. Right? If everybody was jumping off a bridge, that thing your parents used to tell you, yeah, you should do it too. Maybe. They, need, they can't swim. Uh, I don't really remember how that saying goes. Anyway, uh, blast finish is great on this. It really is nice. And uh, I was sort of like, well, what do you need a blast finish for on a responsive yeah, yeah, You know what? It just feels nice. That's why. Uh, it comes in this awesome green color. You guys know how I'm a, I'm a sucker for green. But uh, also comes in like a purple fade. Comes in that, that supersonic edponic purple. Comes in a blue. I think there's a, like a gray and black splash as well. Comes in a lot of cool colors. Uh... And, uh, you know, honestly, in my opinion, uh, this, this one, like I said, is right up there with the Deep State. If you're going to have two, get the Deep State and get the Alley Cat 650B because those are the ones that are just sort of like, they're different enough to warrant having both of them, but they're also just monsters and perfect designs as far as, in my opinion, responsive play is concerned. So, very, very cool in that regard. Uh, the other pros, the new, uh, the new response system is, is so much better. Eons better, so much better than the original Alley Cat. And it's very, it's not snaggy, but it's also very reliable, which is really, you know, there's a tough balance to fight with responsive yayos. And this kind of strikes that balance perfectly. Um, gosh, I really can't think of any cons at all for this. Uh, it only 50 bucks, you know, you get a precision machined piece of, aluminum that's just gonna be fun you're gonna have fun with this i promise you if responsive play is your thing and you're like oh well, i have an original alley cat i don't know yeah this one's that much better and not only is it that much better it's a total redesign it's a different yo-yo and it's awesome it's 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 been perfected it's been honed and perfected and it's great so i definitely recommend checking it out Links are down in the description. You can pick these up on YoYo -Yo Expert. Uh, still quite a few in stock, so uh, make sure you check those out. But that is going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I do YoYo -Yo videos every single day. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.